because I have an eyewitness telling me two juveniles just forced their way into the home. They take a step back and contact the homeowner and say, should anybody have access to your home? As resources are pouring in to surround the property, the homeowner says, nobody should be home, but I have three firearms in the house, an AK-47, a pump shotgun, and a handgun, and 200 rounds of ammunition. So as deputies are surrounding the home and try to establish a rapport, they are met with gunfire. And they're not met with gunfire once. They're not met with gunfire twice. They're met with gunfire multiple times. At 828, one of my sergeants, who was the first to arrive, Sergeant Donnie Maxwell, takes fire multiple times, never returns fire. At 831, one of our units reports they're being fired at by the 12 and the 14 year old. At 833, another call comes out from another group of deputies surrounding the home saying that shots were fired. At 840, the 14 year old emerges from the property and threatens to kill Sergeant Maxwell. At 854, the juvenile male armed with an AK-47 opens fire on deputies. Eventually, after all this goes on and we try to de-escalate, we throw a cell phone into the house to try to talk to them, the 14-year-old comes out of the garage with a pump shotgun, levels it at deputies, and despite warnings to drop it, she walks back into the garage. She comes back a second time, and that's when deputies open fire after taping multiple rounds. After they wound her, they automatically transition to try to save her life, apply tourniquets, get first aid in here, they confront the 12-year-old who was still armed with the AK-47 in the garage. After about 30 seconds, he decides to drop the firearm. 